Here's hoping you'll never have to, but just in case, let's talk about changing a flat tire. Make sure you're parked on a firm, level surface, safely away from traffic. Avoid ice or slippery areas. Also, make sure the ignition is off. Put the vehicle in park, turn the hazard lights on, and firmly set the parking brake. Blocking both the front and rear of the tire diagonally opposite of the jacking position is also a good idea. For example, if changing the left rear tire, block the right front tire. Depending on vehicle trim level, the jack and jack tools may be stored under the front passenger seat in a box or next to or behind the driver's seat in a tool bag. The box and tool bag contain the same items. Remove the spare tire before attempting to jack up the vehicle. Attach the lug bolt adapter to the winch extension and insert it into the winch mechanism. Rotate the wheel wrench handle counterclockwise until the spare tire is on the ground with enough cable slack to allow you to pull it out from under the vehicle. Remove the retainer nut and then you can lift the spare tire off the ground a bit to help in releasing the retainer. Now just tilt the retainer at the end of the cable and pull it through the center of the wheel. Loosen, but do not remove the wheel bolts by turning them counterclockwise one turn while the wheel is still on the ground. Now look for the proper jacking locations. The front jacking location is located behind the front tire and in front of the driver or passenger door. The rear jacking location is located in front of the rear tire and in front of the leaf spring mount. Once you are sure the jack is fully engaged, you're ready to raise the vehicle by turning the jack screw clockwise. Raise the vehicle only until the tire just clears the surface and enough clearance is obtained to install the spare tire. Remember, minimum tire lift provides maximum stability. Okay, now go ahead and remove the wheel bolts, hubcap, and wheel. Position the spare tire on the vehicle, making sure the valve stem is facing out. The vehicle could be damaged if the spare tire is mounted incorrectly. Now reinstall the hubcap and then the wheel bolts. Lightly tighten the wheel bolts clockwise. Now you can lower the vehicle by turning the jack screw counterclockwise and remove the jack. Once on the ground, you can finish tightening the wheel bolts. Alternate wheel bolts until each wheel bolt has been tightened twice. Maximum effort should be used for final tightening of the wheel bolts. It's a good idea to have the tightness checked with a torque wrench by an authorized dealer or at a service station. Now, winch the cable into storage position and safely stow the flat tire. Stow the jack and jack tools back in their proper location and you're ready to go. This video is not intended to take the place of your owner's manual. For complete details and other important safety information, please see your owner's information.